Here with UWL head wrestling coach Dave Malachek after the Eagles home opener uh, win over Stevens Institute Technology. Coach, first of all, before we talk about the match, just talk about being back home for the first oh, time this season. It felt so good, man. There's so many familiar faces and get to see all the families and a little normalcy, you know, from coming back from 2019 or even 2020. And being back in this gym, there's something special about this gym and our fans and our family and everybody that's here, but it felt really good, Dave. Brandon got you started right away, 125 with a big major decision win. Talk about that one to get you started. Yeah, that you know, momentum, right? And their guy was ranked in the country and, and didn't wrestle tonight, and so they put their back up in, and Brandon did a good job of jumping out there and, and getting bonus points for us, which was huge. And in, in wrestling with duels, it's momentum. And uh, Brandon did a good job with that. You know, he's got experience being at the national tournament the year before, and he just did a great job for us. You got, other, uh, you got seven wins overall. Um, ben uh, at 197, yep. right, number one in the country, took yep. a, he had a major decision. Seth was a, a technical fall. I'll talk about those guys as you, well. You got you got to look at that match. I mean, like I went through this. You get total respect for Stevens too. I mean, coming all the way out here, wrestling us, they're going to wrestle in tournament on Saturday that we're at, and they'll they'll be ready to go on Saturday. But you know, we caught them on a night tonight, and and uh, they got six ranked guys in their lineup, and and we end up beating them. But that match at 74 was, I think, a, a big difference maker. I mean, we tech fall the number two ranked guy in the country, and Seth just showed that he's real comfortable at 174 pounds and moving up a weight class from last year where he's an All-American. And so I think he felt really good about it. And then Ben obviously moving down a weight class to 197, getting a nice win there uh, for us to, to clinch the duel and take all the pressure off Mike, who ended up with a victory at heavyweight as well. What's it mean to wrestle a team like this so early in the season? I mean, like you said, they're coming all the way from New Jersey. What's, yeah. it, what's it mean for your program, or your it, team? It means a lot for us. I mean, it kind of, we're trying to figure out who we are. We're still so early. We're trying to figure out how good we could be. But I mean, there's a lot of great teams out there. And, and like I said, I, I give total respect to those guys. They they come out here to to compete and and see what they got. It, it really helped us a ton. Um, but we know we're going to see them again at the national tournament. But we're just trying to figure out this team. We're going to have different guys in the lineup tomorrow or Saturday. We'll have different guys in the lineup next week after Thanksgiving. And, and uh, it, it's just part of this process that this team's got to figure out throughout this whole long season. Last year, we kind of started out hot and didn't finish great. And this year, our whole focus is getting better every week. So that's the plan. Uh, let's talk about your team right now. It is early in the season, but yep. what, what have you seen from your newcomers and your veterans? What have they shown you, for you? You know, we've had guys that uh, haven't been in the lineup much. That Tonight was Zach Weiler's first duel uh, in his career. He's a junior at 133 pounds. and came out with a big win. He's had elbow surgery before, so it was kind of a little emotional over there. You probably didn't see it, but we, we all kind of got a little emotional. He couldn't wrestle at all last year. And comes out and gets a win for the team tonight in a hard-fought match against a really good guy. And then Noah Leisgang at 165 was behind Brazard and uh, did a great job and came out guys first dual win as a junior uh, finally getting their chance so Dave with this team like some guys are getting their first opportunities to get in the lineup and then we have some other veterans in there but I just think it's a you know our whole model all year is family and uh, you see them together you see them cheering for each other helping each other out it just means a lot to me and I, I think their best is yet to come I think we all the guys were like hey we can get better here and here Parker Craddeville is going to be really good at 149 and and Kalen Yan has got to get better and get his shape and get his uh, conditioning a little better. But, you know, at the end, he started out really hot last year and, and kind of fizzled a little bit at the end. And, and he knows that and he's, he'll be better by the end of the season. Thanks, Coach. You bet. Thank you.